Hi, my name is Tom Mavro and welcome to the Cut It TV training channel. The channel has been set up to provide easy to follow training tutorials in today's key media production software. Cut It itself is a UK based training company with over 15 years experience providing hands on training in media production. If you would like any further information about our training services, please visit our website at www.cut-it.tv or check us out on social media. I hope you enjoy the following tutorial. The biggest issue with uh, the drag and drop method of editing is that although it's simple, it's quite slow. So let's have a look at some faster ways of editing clips to the timeline. All of the following methods I'm about to show you require you to tell Adobe Premiere where the new clip should be inserted on the timeline by moving the playhead on the timeline. So it's worth knowing one or two keyboard shortcuts that allow you to quickly and easily move the playhead on the timeline. If we're looking at insert edits, it's also quite important to make sure that you have a method of moving the playhead to an edit point between two clips on the timeline easily. If you're dragging the playhead on the timeline, and you do that by clicking at the top of the cut timeline and holding your mouse down and dragging, the playhead doesn't by default snap to any edit points. However, if I hold my shift key down and do the same thing, suddenly the playhead will start to snap to the edit points between clips. Another useful keyboard shortcut to know is the up and down arrows on your keyboard. The down arrow jumps you forwards from edit point to edit point on the timeline and eventually to the end of the sequence. The up arrow jumps you backwards from edit to edit on the timeline and eventually to the start of the sequence. I'm describing the join between two clips on the timeline as an edit point. In fact, what the playhead is jumping to is the in frame of each clip on the timeline. Another useful shortcut is the home and end key on your keyboard. The end key jumps your playhead to the end of your sequence. The home key jumps your playhead to the start of the sequence. On a Mac laptop, for example, you don't have a home and an end key. Uh, you can do the same procedure by holding down the function key on your keyboard and tapping your right and left arrows. Let's look at some other methods of doing both insert and overwrite edits. We'll look at an insert edit again first. I'm going to jump my playhead to between the first and second clips on the timeline. I've already got some in and out points marked in the clip in my source monitor. And the next way of doing an insert edit is instead of dragging the clip down onto the timeline, I'm going to hold my command key down again so it does an insert, but I'm going to drag my clip directly across from the source monitor, directly across into the program monitor window and let go. And as you can see that inserted the clip on the timeline at the playhead position. Let's jump my playhead now to the end of the sequence by tapping my down arrow and we'll look at doing an overwrite edit. This time, instead of holding the command key down on my Mac or control on a PC to do an insert edit, all I'm going to do is just drag the clip directly across from the source monitor into the program monitor and let go. The next method for adding clips to the timeline doesn't involve any dragging whatsoever. I'm going to click back on my timeline and we'll look at doing an insert edit to start with. So I'll jump my playhead back between two clips. Again, I will have marked my in and out points in the source monitor already. And this time, all I'm gonna do is go to the insert edit button in the source monitors button bar and click on the insert edit button. And that will insert my clip again at the playhead position. To an overwrite, all I need to do is click on the overwrite edit button and that will again put my clip down at the playhead position, this time doing an overwrite edit. The final method for doing insert and overwrite edits is using keyboard shortcuts. Firstly, if you would like to know the keyboard shortcut for a menu option, you would go to the relevant menu. Now the uh, insert and overwrite edit options are on the clip menu in Premiere Pro. And look at the menu itself and specifically look at the shortcut that is listed on the right hand side of the menu. So insert is comma and overwrite is full stop on the keyboard. Alternatively, if it's a button that you're looking for the shortcut for, you move your mouse over the button, hold it there for a moment or two, and in brackets, it will also list the keyboard shortcut for that button. So again, insert is comma, overwrite is full stop. 
Now using keyboard shortcuts is generally the quickest way of doing any type of edit. So again, let me do an insert edit first. I'm gonna click on my timeline. I'm gonna jump my playhead back a few edits. I've already got my in and out points marked. All I've got to do now to do an insert is to hit comma on my keyboard. As you can see that inserted the clip at the playhead position and again, pushed everything else up. To do an overwrite edit, again, jump your playhead to where you want the clip to go. And this time I'm going to hit full stop instead of comma and that will do an overwrite. One last thing to add, if you are editing clips down onto the end of the sequence, it doesn't actually matter whether you do an insert or an overwrite edit. As there is no existing footage on the timeline to write over, and as there is no existing footage to move up the timeline via an insert edit, it doesn't really matter which one you use. And also another useful element of this is the fact that when you do an insert or an overwrite edit using any of the previous three methods I've explained, the playhead on the timeline automatically jumps to the end of the clip you've just edited, ready for you to edit the next clip down onto the timeline. So this makes it extremely quick particularly when you're editing clips down onto the end of your existing sequence.